can explore the reaction content by either substance names, registry numbers, or pattern numbers maybe. But also there is another option to explore that content. And of course, you can draw a reaction scheme. And we can do that by using the Structure Drawing Editor. Here on the right hand side, we have the Structure Drawing Editor. And by clicking on Edit, we can see what we have. Now, in my reaction, which I can see right now here, I want this structure on the right to be the product and on the left to be the reactant. A very easy way to ensure that we do make this reactant and this product is to come over to the palette on the left hand side and select draw reaction arrow. When you click on that and you draw the arrow, then everything to the left will be seen as a reactant and everything to the right will be seen as a product. Now in this example, I have one reactant and one product. But in fact, we can draw more than one structure on the left of this arrow, which will ensure that we have two reactants or even three reactants if we wish. Equally, we don't have to draw a product. We can leave that completely blank if we wish to. Other options that we might want to consider. I have this labeled, of course, as a reactant. Now at CS, we define a reactant that is something that will contribute to at least one carbon to the final product. If you are not sure if that is the case, and maybe you think, well, this could be seen as a reagent rather than a reactant, then, if you come over to the left again, you also have this option to add reaction row. When you click on that and you go to anywhere a structure and click, you'll be able to change that from reactant to reagent or reagent reactant. So, in fact, when you see the use of these reaction rows, you can see that actually we don't really need to draw the arrow in if we don't want to. We can simply mark things to be reactants or reagents or products. In this particular reaction scheme, notice that instead of just having a carbon, I've selected the AK variable that allows for any carbon chain. So we can draw schemes, of course, for known substances, but also can include variables in our drawn reaction scheme as well. Let's go ahead and run the search. The search is completed, we see we have one result as drawn and we have 733 as substructure set. This allows other things to be substituted on the drawn reaction course. You can see we have this NH2 in this particular position. Of course, you can easily search for reactions by also using the CIS registry number or the reaction number but also consider to using the reaction scheme to get also additional results.